The program that we're doing at the YMCA uh, is an evolution of our clinically effective Y weight management program here at Joslin. Uh, the Y weight program is something we've done for uh, many years now, uh, and it is shown to be clinically effective to help people control their diabetes and lose weight. Um, however, we knew that the next step was to take that program uh, and deliver where people are in their community. There were three components. There was an exercise component, a behavioral change component, and a nutrition component. So over the course of the 12 to 13 weeks that we had the participants in the program, we increased their exercise from 20 to 60 minutes. They went on a specific diet plan whose goal was to decrease their blood sugar or regulate their blood sugar. And then the behavioral change component was really to provide them with the tools that they needed to make long-term changes. Yeah. That's fine, that's what we're here for. Yeah, yeah. The exercise progression is aggressive. The meal plan in the first six weeks is structured to help these folks see results quickly. And so even when the weight loss wasn't coming off quickly, and for some of these folks it, it, it did, uh, but even when the weight loss wasn't coming off quickly, they were seeing blood sugar changes and they were feeling different because what your blood sugar says on a reading is just reflective of how you're feeling internally. And so um, I think they much more quickly saw sugar changes and the sugar changes were reflective in how they felt. They felt better. Listen to your body, see how you feel. Our six participants had cumulatively lost 88 pounds. Two of our participants have gone off medications. One of them went off two out of three, one of them went off one out of three. Uh, they all saw reductions in their A1C levels. So there were a lot of different indicators and a lot of different ways that they were successful in the program. The tools and the strategies and the support allowed them to uh, sort of you know, push them off the nest a little bit and help them understand that they can make decisions, they can think differently and then make different decisions and then behave differently. And all of those things go towards behavior change. And I think a lot of them didn't feel like they had that capacity or that control over their lifestyle. There's significant cost savings with the YMC program, YMCA program, uh, not only from a delivery point of view, so um, being in a less uh, expensive environment, you're not in an academic medical center downtown Boston, um, but more in a community-based setting. Um, however, from the patient side of things, people are really saving lots of money on their medications. They're saving lots of money on, on going to doctors, on going to multiple doctor's visits um, for maybe different issues that they're having with their diabetes. I haven't missed a day of exercise except 4th of July. Partnerships like this, um, I think, is a good direction to try to figure some of this stuff out. And I think Jocelyn brings an expertise, the Y brings an expertise, let's marry those things and see if we can make a difference. And I think we need to be doing things like this because the direction that we're going in, like we can't continue to do business as usual because look at the results that we're seeing in this country. Something's not working. People aren't changing behavior. So I think this program model um, gives some clues as to, as to how that could change. Going forward, we really hope to expand this program to reach as many people as we possibly can with diabetes. Uh, with, if that means a national rollout, that's really what we're trying to pursue.